Hi lovelies, here I am back again. Today I am talking about every single product of Suzy Beauty initially. I've talked about all the new ones, we've talked about skincare, we've talked about BB cream, highlighter and, and brow kit, um, primer. Um, so I, today I'm only going to talk about our initial products, which is the entire makeup range. So let's get started. I'm going to go also in order of how you would use the product on your face. Um, so step by step. We start with, for the most part, okay, remember you've done your skincare, your skin is clean, moisturized, now you get into the makeup. The first step is foundation. And we have a lovely foundation, um, which has an SPF as well. And it comes in a bunch of range of colors. A lot of you use our foundation, so you all know your own colors. Um, but it, it actually is medium to full coverage and really works well on all skin types. It is oil free. Um, and uh, my color, if anyone needs to know, because everyone asks me if I do use Suzy Beauty product, I don't know what other product I would use. My color is SB45. So you can judge yours from my skin tone as well. Um, so there we have it, our foundation. Your next step in the process of your makeup is concealer. Let me tell you about this concealer. I created with it with so much love because I have very dark circles under my eyes. And everybody asks me, you know, what I use uh, to cover them. I've looked for the perfect concealer for decades until I created this one. A little beautiful little concealer. It's, it comes in a pot. It looks very small, but it lasts very long. And you put it on with the brush. Sorry, I so forgot I should be talking about the tools as we go along. With a foundation, we have our lovely foundation brush, which we talked about during skincare as well. Um, it works with your moisturizer. It also works with your foundation. Synthetic, nice firm hairs that get the product on perfectly. And then with a concealer, you're going to use your concealer brush. And you will dab it, the concealer on only where it's needed. After the foundation goes on, and it again, it's medium to full coverage, so it might cover everything, but for those of us with dark circles or extra marks around our face, that's where the concealer comes in. So you put that on next with your brush. The third stage in the process of finishing off your beautiful skin, skin tone, because foundation you know, made everything look the same, concealer hid what it needed to hide, the next step is your powder. We have two different powders, a loose powder, which looks like that. And you use, of course, your powder brush. It, it also comes uh, with a puff in it. Um, and I like to put the product on the lid and work with my powder brush on it. And then put it all over the face where needed. It mattifies your skin tone and it also makes everything now come together. Everything looks nice and even and perfect. You're ready to go for the day. The difference between our loose powder and our compact powder is just the texture. The colors are all the same and um, we find that this is just easier to like dump in your bag to touch up during the day and you, I, I prefer to use the loose powder at home to finish off my makeup and carry the compact with me through the day as I touch up my face. And then, that's your face done. Again, there's also the BB cream, which can be used in place of the foundation. The next part of your makeup process, we go to eyes, for the most part. Um, eyeshadows, we have so many amazing, beautiful colors. Um, I'm going to say there's about 17 different color ranges. And all with such funky names. This was the funnest part actually, developing this product was naming them. So this here, what I'm carrying is our black color, it's Usi. Um, our white is called Maziwa, guess why? <laughs> this beautiful purple is African Violet. And we have this I love, Jani, our green color. It's so amazing, it goes on, it looks really harsh in the in the in the in the tube in, in the in its container but it's really it really goes on very nice and it just brings out your eyes more where it comes to brushes there's a bunch of different eye brushes so we start with the three main eyeshadow brushes there's the mini really really tiny all soft hairs 
Um, all these brushes for the eyeshadows are made of animal hairs. It's pony, it's goat, it's um, um, I want to say ra is it rabbit or hair, but very soft and that's and no animals were harmed in the making of the brushes. So the mini one, it is for putting on the product really intensely. So if you're doing a smoky eye, you're putting on the, your dark color on your eyeshadow, on your eyelid, sorry, with the mini brush. The small eyeshadow brush puts on the product a little less intense and it's also a lot um, more easy to maneuver and use. And then the medium shadow brush, this I think everyone is, should be really comfortable with it. It just goes on, puts your product on really easily. And then um, we also have our contour brush. This, I call it the makeup artist's best friend, it really is. And it's for contouring, giving yourself that three-dimensional look in the eye. So you contour um, in your crease. You can also use it to contour your face. It works perfectly for contouring. Now, let me talk quickly about eyebrows because where our eyebrows are concerned, we use our brown eyeshadows. We have Changa and Kahawa which we use with our angled brush to fill in our eyebrows. Before you do that, you should just brush with the lash and brow brush. Just brush the hairs down and then fill in with our angled brush with the correct um, eyeshadow powders. And then um, we also have for the eyes, eye coal. Our eye coal is not your regular eyeliner. It actually goes on a lot more intense than your regular eyeliner. Um, it has a, a more a smooth, soft texture. So it goes on a little bit, I don't know how to use the word wet, but maybe moist, and then sort of dries so that it stays on for the entire day. So it's a lovely, lovely product. And then you saw my video about mascaras. That's the last step in your makeup routine for the eye. Now we move, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot to talk about our eyeshadow trios. There was a time when we only had our eyeshadow singles and then we were begged to include more colors into one um, container. So I came back up, up with these um, eyeshadow trios, which are all our colors that already exist in the line, but all put together that work together. So this like for this, this is Diani Shore. And look at that beautiful, beautiful golds with the blue. Doesn't that remind you of the sea? Sure. Um, this purple one is Savannah Sunsets and it has all the sort of the purples and pinks. Perfect. We have Midnight on Mount Kenya, which is perfect for the smoky eye. It's with the blacks and grays. And um, there we have it for the eye shadows and the eye makeup. Now we move on to the other part of the face, which is your cheeks. We have our blushes. We have four different colors. Um, they come in a container like that. Um, we have plum, we have terracotta, we have pomegranate, which is a bright pink, and we have cocoa, which is a darker type of highlighter bronzer. Um, and then again, I talked about our, our new highlighter bronzer, which um, is their sister. And then we go to the lips. We have an amazing range of cream lipsticks. The texture is super creamy. You can put it on on dry lips and it actually moisturizes the lip. Um, there's 10 different colors, which are all amazing. I'm showing, this is our top seller, which is Zamba. It's the one Lupita wore and kept, has kept it a top seller ever since. And uh, down to the lips is the lip brush. This is what you use. We don't have a lip liner, but using the lip brush helps to line the lips perfectly and then fill in with the color. So you don't have to go outside the lip line. And then recently, we introduced our new range of matte lipsticks, which everyone loves. I love. I'm actually wearing tangerine right now, one of my favorites. It looks really bright in the tube, but it's actually look, I kind of look normal, right? right? I mean, I think I look good. So that's tangerine. That's the one I'm wearing. And then there's five other colors. Uh, on Mother's Day, we launched Umama. Oh, sorry, let me say it right. This is how I tell my girls to say it. Ooh, mama. Because it's so funky and so cool. And it has to be <laughs> represented that way. It's bright, bright pink, but super cute on. Um, and then we have a red, which is uh, Masai Love. We have two nudes, honey and toffee. 
and then an amazing sort of purpley pink called Oh. So, and then with the lips still, we have lip glosses, a full range of lip glosses with many amazing colors. Um, one of my favorites is actually Bougainvillea. I do love the nudes, which are amber and peaches and uchi. Uchi I can live in. It's like so nude and just goes on. So you will find that the glosses are a little bit stickier than usual. And that's on purpose. I created them that way because that makes them last a little bit longer on the lips through the day. So there we have it for the lips. And there we have it. Full range of Suzy Beauty makeup created by myself for you, beautiful African women. If you have any comments, any questions, I am waiting to hear all about it. And um, please keep in touch. Keep, uh, uh, keep talking to us on all our social media outlets. And um, let's keep chatting. See you at the next video.